Hi, I'm Dr. Mace Rothenberg, Pfizer's Chief Medical Officer. The COVID-19 pandemic has drastically altered our daily routine. Simple tasks like going out to buy groceries, arranging to meet a friend for a cup of coffee, now require careful planning and preparation to ensure that we stay safe and that we protect others from contracting this illness. As our communities and schools begin to reopen, we need to remain vigilant about what to do to limit the spread of COVID-19. That starts with keeping the risks in mind. Remember, COVID-19 can be transmitted unknowingly by those who are infected but do not have symptoms. That means, for example, that the more people you interact with at a gathering, the closer you sit next to others, and the longer you're there, the higher your risk of becoming infected with the virus and spreading it to others. Don't let yourself be that person. There are a number of additional factors to consider in determining the risks of a gathering. Will you be in a crowd? Is it indoors or outdoors? Are the number of new cases of COVID-19 rising in that area? Are people coming in from other areas to attend this event? Can you stay at least two meters or six feet away from others? Are most people wearing face coverings? Are objects being shared, passed around, or touched by many? Are soap and water or hand sanitizer plentiful and available? Of course, the safest gathering is no gathering at all. But understanding the risks of getting together with others can help you minimize them. This also applies to travel. You and your loved ones are safest at home. However, if you do travel, here are some things to consider. Will you need to take a bus, train, or plane? Mass transit agencies are taking extra precautions to reduce the spread of COVID-19. Nevertheless, mass transportation poses a higher risk of exposure than other options, such as walking, bicycling, using your own car, or a properly sanitized rental car. How long is your trip, and how complicated are the logistics? More time spent traveling increases the potential for exposure. As the number of times you interact with others during your trip increases, whether at rest stops or layovers, so do the opportunities for you to be exposed to the virus. Will you be visiting with friends or family who are elderly or have an underlying health issue? If so, you can make the visit safer by taking precautions such as keeping your activities outdoors, wearing masks, maintaining six feet or two meters of distance, not sharing objects, and frequently washing your hands or using hand sanitizer during your visit. COVID-19 continues to pose real challenges to our daily activities, but there are many things you can do to help reduce the risk of exposing yourself and potentially exposing others. Here are a few things to keep in mind before you leave home. Plan in advance. Keep travel packs of sanitizing wipes, a pen for signing receipts, and hand sanitizer with at least 60% alcohol by the door, making them easy to take with you every time you go out. Consider bringing face masks not only for yourself, but for those with you. Keep backups in your bag or pocket in case a mask gets soiled or the elastic gets so stretched out that it no longer keeps the mask snug on your face. And when you wear a mask, wear it properly. Having a mask pulled down below your nose doesn't protect the one most vulnerable part of your body, your nose, from the virus. Once you're out and about, remember to cover coughs and sneezes with a tissue and wash your hands with soap and water frequently and for at least 20 seconds. If soap and water are not readily available, use hand sanitizer. If you suspect that you've been exposed to someone with COVID-19, it's important to take certain precautions. First, stay in and avoid contact with others, including those you live with. Monitor your health status and the health of others in your household. If you start to feel unwell, contact your health care provider to discuss the next steps you should take. For additional information, you can visit the COVID-19 page on Pfizer.com for information about how we can all be smart, be safe and be well.